Here we are about to build our very first garage. And we're just kind of set up around the edges. And we are ready to go. We laid out our sill plate gasket around the foundation. We then attached our pressure treated wood to the sill plate anchor bolts. And then we began our framing. We lined up the top and bottom plate. You should have gloves on. Where are your gloves? No. Oh. Hot. Even in Maine, we have some really hot days, and it was too hot for gloves. build doing our garage in our matching outfits look even our shoes okay let's get to work we're getting ready to lift our wall up into place we are lining it up with the pressure treated sill plate and then we are each going to take a side and lift it up we still need to adjust it a little more into place. We put some blocks down to help when we flip it up that it will allow it to get up on. And then we need to find the anchor bolts. We made holes for the anchor bolts and we look for those and we put them in. It is, isn't it? I think it just, yeah. How are we yeah, looking so down there? And then we started adding the headers, building the headers and adding them to our frame. And this one went in a little wonky. It was off a little bit uh, when we made it and it wasn't quite level. So we struggled with getting this one in there well. And then we decided to use a board to just help push in that one corner to help level it out and get it to fit perfectly. Line it up all on one side and then I'm going to get ready to flip it over to the other side. I slowly flip the zip tape over to the other side making sure that I don't have any bubbles or creases uh, because that could cause water and air to leak in and you want it to be airtight and watertight which also allows for it to be bug tight.
Another thing you want to look for when you're taping is if you used a nail gun, it leaves sometimes little plastic, and you want to get that away because it will cut through the tape. Another thing that I'm doing at this property is building a retaining wall from the leach field. And as you can see, there was one rock that was there that I started out with. And now it looks about like this. I'm going to be adding more rocks. I'm getting them out of the woods and adding them with my tractor. This is our duplex property, so we're out in the garage at our duplex, and in this picture you'll see that we did get a few more rocks from the woods to move all of the landscaping that was already there, and now we have something that looks like this. Lastly, I'm just maneuvering my tractor to get it in line with where I want to dump the rock. I'm going to dump out the rock, and then this one I actually move into place by hand. Most of these, I because they're so big, I use the tractor. This one I was able to use a shovel as leverage to help lift it up a little bit and get it into place. At some point I can show you a video of that footage, but that won't be included in today's video. If you find my videos useful or entertaining, please click like and subscribe. Thank you.